Hi everybody, here we are again, and it's a Mountains Connoisseur's Wheat Beer, and we're here to talk about it. It's quite nice. Right, so, first off, that's the label, off the can. Now, I have to say that the Mountains labels are one of the easiest to get off. I think they use a cornstarch glue. So you just put the can into hot water and it, it was pre-ripped and it just floats off. Very easy to get off, very easy to remove the glue residue, you just give it a little bit of a scrub with your pot scrubber. You know what I mean? Not a Brillo pad, one of them. We've not got one. Well, we've got one. It's an eco one. Well, I was going to say one of those nylon pot scrubbers that you get. Anything with a brush on it. Right, so. 1.8 kilo kit. Kit and kilo. So I used a kilo of table sugar. Uh, it just says Muntons Connoisseurs Wheat Beer. 40 pint. Stroke 23 litre beer kit. Typical analysis solids 80 to 82 percent. Colour EBC is less than 11. Bitterness EBU 13 to 27. Mountains la de la. Ingredients Hopped malt extract in brackets malted bold wheat malted bold barley water hop extract yeast in sachet allergy advice see allergens in bold so it's wheat and barley so it's that's going to be gluten See base of can for best before date, store in a cool dry place made in Muntons in the UK. That was not quite what it says, but we get the gist. So, to my notes. Starting gravity, 1.046 at 21 degrees centigrade. Uh, final gravity 1.010 at 22 degrees centigrade. One degree difference, it's not worth adjusting anything. Um, 4.89% it came out at. The kit was £15.95, sugar 65p each. Right. So, straight off, as you can see, oh, that's what a wheat beer should look like. None of this cloudy shit. If it's cloudy, it should be sending it back or saying, I'm not paying full price for that. I'm not paying full price for it anyway, because I'm brewing it myself. But as you can see, look at that. It's a golden colour, crystal clear, but you can see my head through it, I can see the camera through it, oh, yeah. so yeah, wheat beers in the UK started to be marketed in the 80s and it was a gimmick and they served it cloudy and charged you a fortune for it it was at least two quid more than your standard pint of beer and look at that that's fantastic that's a wheat beer no it's not it's going to give you the shits and you're going to be not well wheat beer in Germany they passed laws against it the beer purity laws that said you can only use malted barley and hops and water. 
Yeah. So there's a reason. Wheat is a cheap adjunct that's put in, and if you don't brew well, you end up with cloudy beer. So in Germany, a wheat beer is a cheap beer. In this country, it's more expensive. What? Stop ranting. Yeah, right. So a wheat beer should be clear. Well, it's cloudy rubbish. Right, uh, let's go for a sniff. Cash out up there as usual. So there's not a right lot on the nose. There's a the usual sort of beery smell. Slightly malty. Just yeah. Smells like beer. And since when do you go into a pub and go, hmm? Oh yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll just put that down. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, no. No, you just drink it, don't you? So, anyway. Second run's over. Let's have a taste. As you would expect, light coloured beer. Very light lagery sort of flavour that you've not brewed it with much else than a lager malt, uh, a pale malt flavour it is quite nice it's got a, a slightly acidic sharpness to it and it's almost It's almost got a fruitiness to it. Very, yeah, very subtle, something like a peachiness, I'd say. Could be mango. It's that sort of, and it's got that sort of not quite tartness. Difficult to describe. It is almost a tartness, but yeah, that sort of acidic. Yeah, acidic tartness. Not much in the way of mouthfeel, I would have said. I think it's quite a light. Yeah. A very light mouthfeel. But not too bad. A little bit watery. But it's drinkable. It's beer. What about it again? Nah, there's better out there. There's, there's a lot better out there. Lots of the mountain kits out there that are better and do cost more. But you're nearly at 20 quid already. For 20 quid, you can get a double can or malt kit and they're just better. So, you know, yes, if you're on a budget, but in the big scheme of things, well, it's a fiver cheaper, isn't it? Four quid cheaper. A fiver. It's a fiver cheaper for 40 pints. So that works out to not very much less a pint. That was a technical term, wasn't it? 
fine. We currently have a bit of an invasion of fruit flies. It's that time of year. So if I agree. Is that right? Call P cheaper? No. Five, five, five pounds. Come on, be cheaper. Yeah. So, it's 12 and a half P cheaper. So, rather than Rather than 50p a pint, it's 38p a pint. But can you grumble? 50p a pint for a swing can kit. I'm not, I should cut all that out because I'm not reviewing a swing can kit, I'm reviewing this. Yes, it's 38p a pint. Not bad beer. I've had worse. I've had worse in pubs. But there's better single can kits out there as well. So what about it again? No. Right, stop waffling now. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.